Hi everyone, I'm Matthew and on behalf of Team 9, thank you for tuning into our lecture. We were glad to be able to put all this together for all of you and we hope it gives you a really good understanding of what acceptance sampling is. Uh, before we begin, I would like to point you out to the course resources as well. There are a number of useful links that can be found under the acceptance sampling heading and please feel free to check that out uh, if you wanted to learn more or just something to refer back to. Our course slides and also those resources would be a really good place to start. So on that note, Let's begin. So over the course of this lecture, we will be discussing what acceptance sampling is, where it originated from, and we'll even go into a deep dive into the specifics as to how it works. In this way, we will discuss different sampling plans, the hows, whens, and whys associated with their use. We will also break down these processes and go through how to build an operating characteristic, also known as OC curves. And we will go through an overview of useful terms and definitions that will help tie everything together. Now, this may seem like a lot, but it's actually quite simple. So what is acceptance sampling? Acceptance sampling is a form of testing that involves taking random samples of lots or batches of finished products and measuring them against predetermined standards. In other words, it's a statistical sampling method used to determine whether to accept or reject a production lot. It has been a common quality control technique used in the industry for decades, and in fact, Acceptance sampling practices began to be widely accepted during World War II to meet an emerging need. You see, the dilemma was that due to the sheer amount of ammunition that was being manufactured, quality control specialists could not inspect every round or nothing would ever get shipped on time. A group of principal architects, including a man named Harold French Dodge, documented the first statistical quality control procedures to be widely accepted across North America. Although this was initially applied at the end of the production line as products were leaving the factory, this practice has since been built upon and adapted to be incorporated into numerous parts of the manufacturing process, especially depending on the complexity of the components. Nowadays, acceptance sampling is implemented by breaking down inventory into lots and during different parts of the manufacturing process. A few of those lots are then randomly selected and each component in a selected lot is then tested and compared to a set of quantifiable standards and statistical inference is then used to evaluate the quality of all the units produced at each of these points that we're testing is conducted.